congratulations, Anne. What did you make of performance? Um, I thought performance was good. I think we, um, you know, we we made the game pretty difficult for ourselves. I mean, we certainly had enough chances, and um, you know, controlled the game uh, pretty much from start to finish. Um, but yeah, you know, obviously, when you when the scoreline is as it is, disappointing goal we conceded. Um, that's probably the only disappointing thing of the day. I just thought uh, it was preventable. So, but aside from that, I thought. Um, yeah, I thought the lads really handled it really well in the second half. It, you know, there's obviously a bit of anxiety around the place. Every game now, not just for us, for every club, has sort of extra significance. And uh, I thought the lads stayed really calm through that process, kept playing our football, kept probing, and uh, eventually got the rewards. Yeah, no, he was he was good. You know, we felt in the first half, um, yeah, Decky, you know, was probably coming inside a little bit too much, and you know, we thought. Yeah, you know, Timo was certainly getting some opportunities on the left hand side. If we got Brendan on the right side, um, I think we thought he could be an equally a threat. And uh, I thought both wingers in the second half were outstanding. And just a um, really good second half, for another first half without goal. It's clearly a scenario that you sort of want to change during these last few games. You know, I don't know. No, no not really. Uh, the disappointing thing about the first half was the goal we conceded. Our football was good. You know, we created good chances. I mean, we had one on ones and we hit the post. Um, you know, they blocked quite a few shots. They defended desperately. I, I, I think overall, there was nothing wrong with our football. <coughs> the goal we conceded, yeah, that was that was poor, and that's something we need to address. But you know, with a lot of our football, it's about becomes a war of attrition. We need to put pressure on the opposition because we know we're going to run out games really strongly. And uh, I thought we made Luton work really hard in the first half. And I thought you saw in the last sort of 10, 15 minutes, um, you know, they, they kind of paid a price for that. Do you, do you, sorry, do you see a pattern, Ange, with, with the kind of Brentford, Brighton, Palace games? They, they felt similar to today. Or is, do you not think there's a, a trend there? No, no, I don't, mate, because... The trend for me uh, goes beyond um, you know, what's happening right now. I, I can understand people kind of look for, for threads, but um, I, I'm just looking at the overall picture and uh, y you, know, you, you put aside the results or the manner in which we're winning games and just looking at the performances. And I think <coughs> you know, if you're talking about those three games, um, they've all been a little bit different in the context of you know, the opposition we were facing and how we played. Um, like I said, I thought today, the one disappointing thing was the goal we conceded. Apart from that, I thought the game pretty much went as I, I, I hoped it would. Um, obviously, if we got an early goal, that would open them up and make the game easier for us. But winning the way we did is uh, not a bad thing either. You mentioned that the difference with Kudusevsky, the way he plays, Fred's Johnson, and obviously Spurs are more threatening in the second half. Is that a game state thing, just you know, playing with different ways for different opponents, that sort of thing? No, no, no. Our wingers should be playing the same way, I think. Yeah, you know, Decky kind of tried to get maybe too involved in the game a little bit and went looking for the ball because, I mean, he's that kind of player. He wants to be on the ball all the time. And I just thought we needed a different structure in the second half. But it's not it's not about the individual players. There's still a structure there that they have to follow. And, uh, you know, I thought it was really important. Like I said, we could see on our side, you know, by Timo being wide, he had two or three really good opportunities and we weren't getting the same joy on the other side. And I think it's because, you know, Decky was kind of coming inside looking for the ball and... Uh, with Brennan's pace and you know, he's got really good quality delivery, um, he gets in the box. So I just thought it was a, a game that was going to be good for him when he came on. Is it because from, it feels like that's when Spurs have been at their best off in the season is when you've got those wingers out there hugging the touch and the other mm. ones coming in. Is that does that feel like the template or when you think that the team have been at their best? That, well, that, that's part of sort of our attacking template. It's not everything, but yeah, I mean, there's there's you know if you're looking for. You know, trends or consistencies that that's kind of one area where we you know we, we we haven't really nailed yet but I can see sort of green sprouts of growth there um, where you know we've scored quite a few goals like that now and you know we've got quite a few crosses in that from that area today which was good to see and not all of them worked out but scored one a couple of good saves one got I don't know how one didn't even go in so um I think there's something there Sunday's gone above uh, Jeff Jones in the all-time list of Spurs scorers. 160 goals. I know he's playing through the middle today, but a lot of those goals have come out wide. And yeah. Can you sort of put it to context how impressive they've been? Yeah, outstanding. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think the thing about Sonny is that <clears throat> irrespective of what position you play him or, you know, you know, whatever game it is, he just, he has this really high 
level of expectation on himself to be the best he can be all the time. And it's very hard to be like that, you know. It's, it's so often it's a lot easier to sort of try and get comfortable in a, in a state of being, whether it's a player or as a person, because he's done an awful lot already. But he just he wants to maintain the highest possible standard every time he plays. And, and you see that, you know, with his football, with his efforts, with his leadership now. So it's all kind of encompassing. And, um, look, he's been a brilliant player for this football club for a long time and hopefully uh, many years to come. And, um, and again, I thought he was really good today. He was a bit unlucky with a couple of chances, you know, hit the post, a couple of good saves. But, you know, when, when we needed him, he was there and he got the job done. No, I know you want me to give them all a cuddle, mate. I know you're always concerned about our players, but uh, I, I, I just don't have the time. You know, I just don't have the time. There's, there's 25 beautiful souls in my dressing room, and I, I just don't have the time to get around them. It's, it's football. You know, it's, it's, it's a hard business. It's there's ups, there's downs, and you just got to deal with them sometimes. And, uh, you know, I think. Um, yeah, Brennan probably obviously like Benny and they felt the pain of missing out on a major competition but being a professional footballer is that you use that as a motivation to, to go out there next time and make sure that I'm sure Brennan's got another couple of tournaments in him um, the next time he becomes the, the one that gets him there And can I, I was just going to ask you about Sonny as well he, he travels more than most in these international breaks so can you give us an idea of, sort of what that means to him does he, <coughs> does he ever feel like he's tired and he needs <coughs> I'm sure he feels tired. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's tough. I mean, I was, you know, when I was national team coach of Australia, we had quite a few players obviously playing over this side of the world. And you talk to them, I mean, Mille is a classic example of that. And he'll tell you, you know, you'd come back and, you know, they're long trips, there's time difference. Um, but like I said before, that he never looks for those clutches, Sonny. You know, for him, it's, you know what, I'm available. I want to play to the highest possible level. Um, and, you know, he keeps doing it. And, um, you know, look, playing for his national team is, is hugely important to him. Playing for this football club is hugely important to him. And he wouldn't compromise either by letting his standards drop. He, you know, he gets on with it and, um, you know, we try and look after him the best way we can. And, and like I said, the, the, the proof is in what he produces. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.